welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Warcast. It's only been two weeks, and we're back again. It's a new world record. You've actually kept it this short for this time. It's usually about, what, four months? But here Several we years, go, we're it? back. Several Once years. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, usually between the other ones, it was much more irregular than this, but we've seemed to have hit a flow. We've hit a, yeah. we've hit a little dynamic. So, yeah, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, Rambler. Welcome back, Lionheart. Thanks. Thank you, James. Welcome Good to, to be show. here. To Thank your you. show. Yeah. To, to, be, to be here. <laughs> what? Nice. There we go. Thank you. There we go. I've done the intro now. You can, you lot can talk now. I've, I've done. All right. Um, lots on the <laughs> agenda for today. Uh, what we did? What we doing? What? What? Uh, what are we talking about? Ah, like, <laughs> uh, oh, I see. I, I don't know. This is... Right, the, the ship is sinking, and the, the last man on it is this guy. Uh, yeah, we'll, I'll get the violins out. <laughs> we're talking. We were going to talk a little bit about uh, Crusader Kings Three. Is that something we've been playing a fair bit of myself and and uh, Rambler? We're trying to convince this one to uh, to to play some. Too sick. Um, if you Don't guys have been playing some Crusader Kings Three, let us know how you're getting on down in the comment if section. If you've ever wanted to sleep with your sister, <laughs> yes. now you can. In a in game, Crusader Kings Three. Yeah, not not in reality. No, wow. no, no, no. <laughs> Let's just get that clear. Oh, I uh, I had a game recently on. where I I just decided to do. I, I streamed it, just doing like an incest only as the Habsburg dynasty. Fantastic. You know, like the very inbred uh, Austrian, and you know, you know, you know the Habsburgs, right? Yes. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah incestuous family. Yes. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um my was it my daughter or no was she my i think my daughter slash granddaughter became my soulmate so she was my daughter and my granddaughter because i slept with my sister i'm already confused so i had a daughter but she was also my granddaughter i'm Don't not worry, sure how it works ck3 is really <laughs> easy to get into james don't worry about it it's yeah just... yeah yeah when you're not trying to sleep with your sister's auntie's cousin mother's child <laughs> Straight up, nice and easy we're to get good, into. Good, yeah, super accessible. It's the best way to play. As is as is the Habsburgs family apparently in Rambler's Keep it in the family. <laughs> Keep it in the family. Well, my my Twitch streams um pretty much descend into incest is wincest as the. I I mean I really I really can't judge my whole Cornish campaign that I've Cornish. just done and just completed has been the Great Cornish Breeding Program to get the 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 three inheritable traits all the way down the family line to then strengthen the bloodline. Haven't managed to get pure blood though, but you get that apparently if you do enough inbreeding uh, as a nice Brucey bonus. Um, but yeah, CK3, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, you did that some was. good little promos for, didn't you, before it was released? Uh, I loved your videos from both of you. Yeah. To war! Yeah. To war. With me <laughs> and Rambler coming on as a little peasant, you know. <laughs> Hello, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> That was yeah. that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I think I think yeah. Par Paradox do 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 very good influencer kind of marketing do, and engagement and and bring you all in. Plus, I got this really cool little goblet. A goblet, yeah. He's got your little logo on it, hasn't it? Yeah. A little my one's the king's in the box, goblet. I'm not going to get it out right now. No, no, no. I'm the goblet. Um, but <sighs> What's so, you um... there? that is not an optimal drinking device. It's not. No, it's basically it's, it's basically a large shot glass. Yeah, um, it is, isn't it? It's like, it's like, you know, oh, oh it's, you know when you know when you go for breakfast at a, at a budget hotel and you get like a thimble of of juice. It's, it's one of them. <laughs> yeah. It's like, mm, I've just quenched my, th I've just had a single sip. Mm, orangey. Yes, I'll have an. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, another. I, I must admit um, though, the 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 content creators that Power Darts get involved before the release, they're very good quality. You know, the you know you guys and there's Drew and there's uh, Ente Elysium, all those sort of people. I know there's more of them. But it seemed to be a really good quality, quite entertaining. Obviously, you've got the cynical Brit, haven't you? And uh, he the did spiffing Brit. The spiff. Oh, yeah. Cine well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cynical Brit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've got, yeah, spiffing Brit. You've got um, know, the other guys. There's loads of them. But yeah, they seem to be really good um, quality videos that they put out. So, yeah. I mean, at least good, from my experience good. with them, they've like the very good organizational. Um, kind of management of it all they started mm. months ago it's kind of just gauging interest and saying would you be like when i did the monarch's journey promo like two or three months ago that was the start of sort of saying hey want to want to do some ck3 
promotion and and build up to that and i was like oh yeah. cool nice lots of heads up i can plan around this this is great yeah count me on yeah yeah if paradox um seemed a good company to work for so yeah it, it was a good launch be interesting to see where they take it. i'm sure there's going to be loads of content coming for the the game won't there be dlc dlc, DLC. yeah there's going to be well they were um bit. In terms of like the kind of, I don't, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but from the client to uh, us kind of relationship, although they wanted us to be in those kind of outfits, the actual content, we were just free to make what we wanted, which is kind of what you want, really. Yeah. Yeah. If it you're doing a sponsored off. video, I, that's what you want, really. Just let us, let us, let us promote the game in the way that we feel is best. Like, because we know what our audience wants better than marketing companies. Mm. Um, so, like, I've had, I think I've had brand deals before where people have become too involved in the project, and it's just like, well, come on now, it just back over, off. over, over complicate something that should be fairly straightforward. Because you know, yeah. as you said, as content creators, we know what we need to do. We know what our audience likes. You know, the company coming to us saying, "Could you inject this, you know, promotion or or this or play this game?" And we're like, mm. yeah, we know, we know what to do now. Um, but I think the game actually is really solid uh overall uh there are certain things that i change like enemy armies constantly using navies it's really very frustrating what like sailing away from you and stuff yeah yeah um rather than just AI. like moving through the uh land like yeah. they'll just they'll I, sail I had to, around to the other side I had and trouble. enemy armies sorry enemy armies will also just go straight for your capital and just try and besiege that down yeah, in any I think, war. I think it's because they know they'll get the the highest amount of like war score from from yeah. hitting it. Um, but I had a similar problem uh, earlier trying to get my army down from Scotland to London, and it should be a straight land march all the way, and instead it went to sea. Which okay, I can understand. Yeah, actually, it would be quicker to go via the sea, but it's the problem that in CK three it costs you a lot of money every time to embark. And I was like, yeah. that's 250 gold to get my 10,000. No, no, Bye. cancel. Walk, walk, <laughs> walk, you bastards. No, do not <laughs> spend my money. Because it's not like you even get a prompt saying, do you want to embark? It's just, it, it's nice and seamless. Like it when it goes. When you want to get into the sea, great. But when you don't want to spend a lot of money, when you've got a big army, you're like, no, no, no. Um, and from an accessibility standpoint, I think it's one of the better Paradox games for that. Uh... There's hope for me then. Yeah, yeah, like you shouldn't be afraid of trying it. No, um, I shouldn't really. Yeah, I mean, it's... if you look at CK two and go oh, that that UI and that menu, it's it's a very well. I mean, how how old is CK two now? It's like te eight, ten years. Eight years. Now? Eight years. Came out twenty twelve. Yeah, it? it's 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 a very. I mean, it's a very classic grand strategy game in that it it fully embraces the fact that it is full of menus. CK three is full of menus, but it it's got a very accessible UI. And the tutorial is probably one of their better ones. It does enough hand holding, and then it, then it does sort of it does throw you out into the woods basically, and sort of says good luck. But it's sort of taught you enough by that point to hopefully to you'll survive. Yeah. You'll you'll come back out of the woods. Although disclaimer, if you ever go near any of my woods, it's likely in my murder forest, and I will have killed you. Uh, I, I sent many children to the murder forest in my my Cornish campaign. Every time I didn't want them to inherit to the murder forest the hell <laughs> basically basically i didn't want certain children inheriting certain titles and the easiest way because they were like six years old i had a super high percent chance of murdering them with with a scheme so i was like oh you know what i could i could i could waste loads of resources and prestige by doing clever things to you know move them out the way carefully or i could just kill them and in which case it, I kept getting the same event, which was to send them off to the woods to follow a, a breadcrumb trail, basically, and they they kept on finding their mangled corpse the next day. God, rip many children and grandchildren. No one's safe. Whisper it's a lovely words. game. <laughs> it's brutal. The thing is, what do you think? Uh, because it's always class. I mean, I know from even not playing it, I know how much of a narrative-driven game it is, and how much you can, how much fun you can have with different ways you can play it and and the sort of um diverse way that you've got on the game do you think total war would ever go that way a bit more do you think they are trying to do that a little bit or do you think they're always because for me total war is always it, it needs to offer a bit more doesn't it as time goes on as the next ones come out do you think they'll try and inherit a bit more of that mechanic from 
They already have that. with like events and stuff that will pop up. You think that's the, uh, ma- think that's the most and... they'll go? I think that's um, the most they'll go. I think the saga titles are more story focused, like Troy mm. particularly. Uh, mm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I Warhammer, think... I guess, has got got more objectives and stuff. Like, yeah, the story comes from following your yeah. But they have done with the story. They've got specific missions for each legendary yeah. lord. And stuff. Yeah, and you get kind of you you are the, the, the chapter objectives are getting. A bit more interesting with the bonus mm. objectives. I think it makes. But it's very railroaded. It's very linear. Yeah, yeah. That's what there's, I mean. There's not as many got... options to really make several choice. Kind of like not. It's not like a choose your own adventure type thing, which Crusader Kings is is definitely like you can choose one of the three or four different options that comes mm. up, and you can either go on a nice happy pilgrimage or you can end up getting beaten to death by bandits on the road. Um, you know. Um, I think with Total War, like with warhammer they really have started embracing a lot more um rpg elements especially you can equip items and things like that and there are some events but as alex has said it is very linear in that it's it's almost in a way events are, are more or less disguised as notifications yeah. rather than actually being a a, 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 a choice yeah. as such you know it's more like oh hey this thing has happened and you're like oh cool what can i do about it it's like no no you can't do anything it's just we're just letting you know that this thing has happened yeah. don't get carried like, away oh. you know oh it's just i think because i remember a lot of people should love the kind of character cow not character creation but character building of a person within medieval 2 I think that's where it kind of hit its hit its peak in that regard. You do, you you care about your generals a lot more because of the way the traits worked and how the mechanics of uh, of it all planning out there. I think it sort of you can I mean, create a character with more of a backstory on medieval too. I think in a way that was almost because the the way the traits presented themselves were a bit more uh, upfront in medieval mm. too because the trait system in in Warhammer and in Troy it was built on the same engine. There is a lot of actual kind of depth. To it, to it, like showing how, especially now how you've got like you have little uh, square blocks sort of as a gauge showing how if you keep fighting battles, you'll go from being a good fighter to a renowned fighter mm. and then to a legendary fighter if you keep doing certain things. And I like I like the way they're going with that. I think maybe that needs to not. I think for a lot of people, it maybe shouldn't be hidden under a couple of menus to get to because a lot of people feel, oh, traits don't matter because I don't see an impact. Whereas, say, in Medieval 2, if you conquered a certain number of settlements, you might become the conqueror or you might get titles, kind of how you do in in CK3. So maybe more things like that. Like, it would be kind of cool in Warhammer if suddenly, you know, Carl Franz was the uh, the spoiler of the Great Oak or something like that because he'd gone through and raised the... The, the the great oak or something like that so mm. I, I think they're heading the right way they've got the right elements it's kind of about bringing certain things to more prominence within within yeah. things they kind of lost it a bit with rome 2 because i remember when rome 2 came out it was kind of a lot was hidden hidden behind things and then people don't understand what different you know remember, you know you got different traits and i remember different ways that people start leveling up generals will level up in round two and i thought and i remember it being clear people were saying there's not much clarity with it now it's gone all even with the family tree that they added in which they never said that they could uh oh yeah i still don't care about the characters anymore no like you are right medieval two is medieval two and rome one were the only games that i really really cared about my Absolutely. characters yeah and yeah. It, when rome two came out it kind of lost it i feel i mean i think <laughs> Looking back, you know, looking back at Room Two, I think I mean, we can all agree <laughs> they they it was lost when it came out, and I think to a degree, yeah. in some cases, I honestly wonder if you know if the the devs looking at the code now would go how how messy is this? How you know how many things are kind of scrapped together and thrown together just to almost to band aid it and make it work, and that was presented in the emperor editions you know like here's what we kind of wanted to do and they did do further updates i mean in terms of post support for that game they did do a good job but it was almost Mm. because half of that was needed to make it a full product Mm. um and then the rest of it was kind of listening to community feedback and saying well we can try and bring in these elements because for rome they tried bringing in the the they did an overhaul of the 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 senate and the political system there as well as the family tree but you're right you know you just don't care about this this cousin or something like that down your family tree because they have no oh. impact. They also wouldn't have continued to update the game if it wasn't making the money. Yep. 
I mean, that's, so, that's, 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 that's the yeah. main thing. It was making it was the their money. best-selling game up yeah. until that point. Crazy. Of course, they're going to keep creating content for did it. it. Did it take like seventeen patches to get it right? I think it, in the end, or seventeen or eighteen. Seventeen patches. patches, yeah, with the with the last rung of rung of DLC or something like that. <laughs> but uh, it's just, yeah. I mean, you say it's 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 a good seller for them, so that's why they kept mm. throwing oh. things. But I feel that it doesn't matter how many things they piled on top of it because it was such a mess. It's still going to have those those day one legacy issues in in some that are hard coded in that need a complete overhaul or rewrite that are never going to get fixed. Um, that's that's probably my issue when people say, "Oh, you're going to go back to Room Two now?" And I'm like, "Well, has you know no because this this and this hasn't been fixed." And that's what I always come back to in my campaigns. After a few episodes, I'll be like, "Oh God, this keeps happening, or that keeps happening, or I can't change that." And it's something that's never going to change in that mm. game. I think that's something that um, at least Paradox has learned from their Imperator Rome launch mm. to actually release uh, compared to Crusader Kings 3. Uh, Crusader Kings 3 has launched in a decent state. I'd it's perfectly it's playable. Launch. Perfectly, personally. Uh, I, I haven't me... played many of their games at launch. I, but yes, I, I, I will <laughs> agree. Um, it's, it feels good. There, I haven't encountered too many bugs. Uh, which for a paradox game is is surprising, yeah. Um, and I don't know, it just works. It flows nicely. Imperator Rome, I had fun with it for ten hours, but it it wasn't. There's, there's, that's the problem is you probably played most of the content in ten hours. Is <laughs> is yes. you, you know is it you, bare bones was it when you fill with CK three after the first ten hours? I was like it's barely scraped the surface. What's going on? Murder another grandchild. Um, you know. <laughs> See, I've got f I've got. 37 hours in CK3 in the first two weeks of release, which I know is, isn't a lot compared to a lot of people. My total playtime of Imperator Four is 52 hours over the past year and a half. Uh, that had great potential. I remember that being announced. I thought, wow, that could be fantastic, couldn't it? For yeah. Paradox. But it then... was such a big fanfare when they announced it at um, Paradox, uh, Paradox Con as well. It's less than 600 people down. playing it at the moment. Yeah. How many? 555 oh and we're God. recording this at 4 p.m british time yeah um crusader kings 3 at the moment has it's gonna be bonkers isn't 50, it? 50 50 55 000. which is mental for a for a a niche grand strategy pc title mm. yeah I, I, I would I would, I would say uh, ck3 is more mainstream now yeah i don't know it, it's it'll be interesting to see if it can I get an audience it's... outside of the strategy grand strategy audience yeah that paradox already has it's, Europa it's... Universal S5. Is that going to be the next one, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Victoria 3. Oh, Victoria 3, I, yeah. wouldn't mind, I, I wouldn't mind a Hearts of Iron 5. I could really do with it. Oh, yeah, but you could do with it all you five. You could do with it all you five, wouldn't you? <laughs> God, that would be great. I've got 25 hours in Imperator and 123 in CK3. Oh, oh wow. Well, well, streaming. Yeah. Stream, streaming and just... You, I don't know about you guys, but when I, when I create content... And then when I take a break from it, if I want to relax and chill and play some games, I uh, sort of in my in my downtime, I never want to play the games that, that I'm streaming or recording. But Collector. <laughs> what? Correct, sir. Oh, correct. Oh, I thought you said Alexa. I was like, I what, think it's a you... Alexa. Who the hell's that? <laughs> oh, Hello, hi. Alex. Uh... <laughs> my name is Alexa. <laughs> the time. Um... <laughs> But um, with CK3, that's all I want to play. Like when I'm done streaming, I instantly want to be like, I want to play more, you know, on my downtime as well. So yeah, that's yeah. I it's... don't know what it feels like to play games um, relaxing and just record and dad life. Have... Yeah, that dad life. What's what's downtime? I I don't play. Oh yeah, do you have you any do... downtime? Me? Yeah. He's uh, using no, it all up right me. now for this. Yeah, <laughs> back to the grind. It's... But yeah, yeah I know, remember you said that, you know, Alex, you, you don't play much downtime, do you? Either you're recording, working, or you're not on the, the games, are you? Or streaming. You've got to no, find time to play um... with yourself, mate. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The, the, I, I don't really game much uh, outside, of, outside of my job now. Um, since, since gaming has become my livelihood i don't really uh, i no. don't know i'd rather just relax with a book um go out for a hike or or, or watch something i rewatched troy for the first time in like i don't know a decade the other day Take it. Oh, it's, it's yours, yours. Yeah. <laughs> i am um... 
I rewatched uh, The Last Samurai the other night. Oh, I like that. That still holds yeah. up. That holds up a that's, lot better than Troy. That's such a good, yeah. yeah, that's such a good film. It does. Yeah. Beautiful. It does, um, yeah. But yeah, Troy reminds me of like a very high budget Xena episode. <laughs> yeah, really <laughs> high budget, yeah. Yeah, and that, like, the heck? acting is just very hammy in Troy. What a um, the battle scenes are still pretty good. Mm. Um, didn't Priam come out like this in you know, a Peter O'Toole like when, he, when Troy was burning like this? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you know, a bit you know, battle wise for Troy. Um, one of my yeah, didn't bits. he like he's terrible, terrible acting from Peter O'Toole. One of my favorite bits for, for the battles in Troy is the when they meet underneath the walls of Troy and they put all of their spears in that nice little gap and it's just uh, they, they they Hector's just pulled Paris back from from the fight. Yeah. And then it's they just form up the lines and oh, the yeah. shields go down. It's just like forward, <laughs> forward. Yep. It's just like yes, that's that's what that when, when, when when was Troy? Was that two thousand three? Four. 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 Oh, sorry. That's like Four. that classic like Lord of the Rings era into getting yeah. those big battle sequences. That was like a, what a five to seven year gap of a lot of films did big battles of that style, and they they just about got that bit you know pretty decent, pretty right. Pretty decent, yeah. Yeah. It makes your it makes your spine have a tingle. Ooh, I can go tingle on the spine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I guess that was CK three. Troy. <laughs> Troy. Uh, Troy. Total War. Total War. Yeah. Oh, speaking of um, Troy, Amazon's. Oh yeah. Segway. I don't know oh. anything about them. You the trailer looks free good. To go ahead. Like the tra- I've watched the trailer. That looked very pretty. I yeah. don't know what the con- what's in the content. So. Wonder no clue. No, no, I just I just watched yeah, the trailer. I thought cool. it looked cool. Like GG to yeah. their cinematics team and their trailer team. It's yeah, they, it's they know how board. to they know how to make a good, engaging promotional yeah. hype piece. Just a game. Just a bit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I mean they have hits and misses, right? Like we can't. We uh, yeah. there's no like they haven't they haven't made stellar game after stellar game after stellar game, especially with sagas you know to them which they themselves have said are more experimental titles you know they're gonna they're gonna swing and a miss you know potentially as many times as they as they hit Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes more um but yeah i mean amazons i think for troy will at least offer a little bit of different gameplay because i think one of them's a horde faction so there's there's no other hordes in the game or no playable hordes currently so it'll it'll probably be enough that it'll give you another 10 to 15 hours, you know, and fresh playthrough. After that, so that'll be another 10 hours. <laughs> yeah, it's Sorry. it's probably be the way they, they I guess, with their, with their DLC and update cycle, just constantly, right. you know, keep bringing people back in for another, you know, another campaign, basically. You know, it's, it's similar to almost um, like Civilization and things like that. You know, they release a new DLC pack with a couple of a new factions. You jump back in, you play it again, and then that's it sort of thing. Yeah. I think that's very much how it's gonna, how its lifespan is gonna run. Say something I can't remember. What I was gonna say, oh yeah, I was talking big about when we were saying about um, enjoying games and enjoying uh, uh, playing them off, sort of off recording. I mean, I'm, I remember when I was really, used to look forward to. Um, it's called E three. I forgot what it was. What oh, it was what then? game shows? You know, I still love them, but then I suppose this year has kind of gone out the window. Going outside. Um, when you're a content creator, it kind of doesn't have the same. I suppose you're so focused on what you're doing, you kind of... I, I find that I can't... When I'm off cam or not recording, it's kind of... It's nothing to do with gaming at all. So it's a shame, because I remember the days when I used to, lo- I used to love that. I was younger, no, no responsibilities in a way, and you could just enjoy games and go enjoy game conferences and you're looking forward to what's coming out you're so excited about it but now it's yeah it's okay. i mean i i, <laughs> I, I use uh... after you sir no it's all right no, it'd be... no. i was <laughs> just basically gonna... you. After, after you. i was just gonna say that i've probably been using ck3 as a, as a way of avoiding mowing the lawn for about an extra week or so so uh it's gonna run out eventually i've been uh spending way too many time uh many way, way too many, many... <sighs> Right. I'm spending way too much time watching Pokemon unboxings, like Pokemon card unboxings. Like uh, the price of some cards nowadays are freaking insane. Oh, you said after your Charizard, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> ah. I, I, 
like as I did, I did I say in the last podcast, I I did have some unopened original booster packs. Mm, yeah, you did. Yeah, um, you I've opened any them more all yet? now. Oh, have you? I've opened yeah, anything. Them all. Yeah, Get anything good? Um, I got a Venusaur uh, and a Nido King. Um, but honestly, like th- though those I probably could have sold for two hundred and fifty, three hundred pounds a pack now. When when they came out, they were what two pound fifty? Yeah, if that. Yeah, what your, so they've one hundred x in price. They would have been a fantastic investment, but I was never going to sell them, and I and I've been feeling really ill this past month, so I've just was like, might as well open them. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't know. That's how I've been spending my time, and I I almost want to start investing in Magic and Pokemon, <laughs> like For... because I don't trust the stock market to keep on hitting all time highs with this global pandemic. So I'm what, trying to think like buying up cards hmm. to then. Uh, unopened booster boxes. Yeah, that would that would definitely work. Probably with magic, you could do a lot. I was about to say, if you were about to mm. get into magic, save yourself loads of money and play the arena version. It's but the whole thing but, online. But there's something just about opening packs in real life and smelling the cards. Sm- is yeah, like the... it's like a good book. I think, oh it's, yeah, it's just like oh oh, almost as good as marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Warcast. Did I talk about weed last time? No. No, but, oh. but but you've started, so do continue. Well, when I'm in Canada, it's legal, yeah. right? So yeah. um yeah. But it's a very civilized way. You can get some you I shouldn't I, I'm not endorsing drug use, by the way. I'm going down for me. I don't know, this could always be cut out. Uh <laughs> That they you can buy these like um you can buy these like fruit fruit tea bags which have marijuana in them. Um it's just like crystallized like uh I guess like marijuana oil. Uh so you brew so you brew it and then over the like the next half an hour you're just like drinking a normal cup of tea. And then another half an hour after that, you're having a great time. Yeah, so, so, it's, it's a very it's civilized a... way. I don't I don't smoke it. I don't I don't, I don't enjoy it smoking. I guess no but, like, difference to drinking a, a cup of tea in a brownie, right? Exactly the same, yeah. So, yeah. so it's a drinkable. It's like safe sex, isn't it? It's like you can enjoy it. What? You know, it's safe. What? It's safe. It's sex. It's enjoyable. You know, it's like you're drinking a tea. It's great. Yeah, and it's a perfectly measured <laughs> dose, so you know exactly what you're gonna be getting. There you and go. there you go. It's a nice way. It pro- I, I, if I could have watched Troy High, that would have been a much better film. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a Warcast bonus episode at some point where we a viewing party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look even Again, more appealing. I have to reinforce this. It's legal in Canada. The, 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 the male person is your drug dealer in Canada. Like, that's how it's perfectly legal across the whole country. Right. GT Canada. It should be in the UK. Uh, take care. Thanks for tuning yeah. in. <laughs> I'll be being arrested now for. <laughs> What for abdicate? What are you arrested? What are you in for? I, I had some weed in a in a tea bag, <laughs> <laughs> where it was legal. <laughs> oh, oh god, dear. Oh, dear. Um, Isaac McCreevy. I feel like these are the stages of hair loss progression. Thought I'd add that in there to. Uh, oh, it's 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 warriors <laughs> comment corner. <laughs> what a time to be alive, says Christy. Exactly. You're oh, are we right. looking at the comments looking, from the yeah. first yeah. episode? Oh, okay. Let's look at that. Thanks for a, <laughs> thanks for a thousand subscribers, by the way. Hopefully, we'll have hit yeah. it by the time this goes out. I and should probably promote it in subscribe. videos, eh? Bing. I should what? let. I, should, I, I, I'm, I, I'm always. I always. I always mean to say whenever I'm recording a video. Oh, did you know I'm, I'm doing a podcast? But I keep forgetting. You need to do oh, those, like you know, when some creators do sponsored segments, like this video is brought to you by this, or sometimes they go, this video is brought by us or me. I do that all the this. time. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I should. We should do that. Uh, it's great to be back, Lionheart X10, Warrior Sparta. Yeah, like blame me guy. for the gap between this and the last episode. It's great to be back. I can't do your accent. How do, how do you say it? Was that was that was that Warrior? Was that your Warrior oh, impression? It was meant to be. Yeah, can you do it? Um, it's great to be back. It's great to be back. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Kings and generals. A channel which has 1.46 million subscribers. Yeah. It is back, smiley face. <laughs> anyway, you you carry on, uh, Warrior Sparta. New Warrior Sparta at college, and I wish I knew Alex Rambler. I'm really oh, not that Overclockers, yeah. That's Nikolai. I know Nikolai. Can he get me a new PC? Yes, you can. P- probably. Yeah. Do they ship to Canada? 
Probably. They, they can, they do have worldwide shipping, I think, on their site. You have to kind of like ask their sales team to do you a little cheeky deal, I think. Oh. But they'll probably sort you out. Nice. Oh, this one's good. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? When the world needed them most, they came back. Okay, I've just seen that one about the stages of hair loss progression. Yeah, very true. Yeah, these yeah. are the stages of hair loss progression. We, have we should probably reach out to like a, a hair stage rejuvenation one. company for a sports stage, gym. <laughs> stage two is me, and then <laughs> Lionheart, stage three. Yeah, it would just be me at the start being like, losing your hair, don't end up like this. Use this. I, I was offered. <laughs> and then, and then, I, was, I was offered a sponsorship from a hair restoration for, uh, company, and um, I don't think they'd research me. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I've been going bald for ten years and I haven't used any of the products that they were selling. Yeah, I've never, I've never <laughs> um, tried using anything. I just thought, yeah. Partly because it can cause impotence. Some of the pills. Mm, oh, we don't yeah. want that. And I and I want to be able to have a strong erection. Absolutely. <laughs> What? Just After being honest. Uh, you know, I, you know, it's 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 really refreshing how um how much I know about your about erections. yeah about his re about his erections. You know, I feel like you don't know any what when else, I know, when else I have I ever mentioned an erection? Every I time I see you. No, I don't. I, <laughs> you do I, I don't go up to you and be like, "Hey, man, I had a great erection the other day." No, no, no. But I mean, you know, exactly not, you know, exactly. I normally, I normally by the end of the meeting know that the little general's all right. Well, you know, just, you know, just general talk. You know, how you doing? You know, how's your penis? <laughs> it's okay. been eighty-four years, says Henrik Bolstad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad um, everything's working for you, buddy. Nice and strong. Henry Cavill would be so lucky to appear on the new podcast. He bloody well would be yeah, bloody lucky. Oh, when he was making that P PC, oh, I was yeah. having an, a, 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 a very healthy erection. Were you? Oh, great. No, <laughs> of course not. It's a oh. <laughs> <laughs> But if I was nice. going if, if to... If I was going to sleep with a man... Like I feel It'd like Henry him. Cavill would take me oh, to a safe yeah, place. Yeah, the guys, the guys are locker. I mean, I, I'll, I'll go there. He's oh, yeah. a locker. <laughs> he's, on, he's on the list. He has guns to rival yours. He's got his 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 physique is phenomenal. A lot mm. of what baby oil on this. Didn't we talk about this last time as well? What Henry Cavill's Probably. physique? What, like how we'd all you know quite happily give ourselves to him unconditionally. Yeah, I think we did. It's what well, it's been two weeks. So we're, it's I'm been two weeks. We've forgotten. Yeah, goldfish. Yeah. Now, someone said about in on the comments section about guests. Now, that did could, they? Yeah, now that could be a good a good suggestion. Now we said we talked about this before, didn't we? We said about you know guests potentially on the warcast going forward. So we want to hear your thoughts. You know, let us let you let us know down below if there's anyone you'd like to uh, see on the warcast, and we shall uh, we shall think about it and then discuss it and then probably say no. Uh, but we'll, 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 <laughs> no, I know we'll see we'll, we'll have a look. Yeah, because we're thinking about going guests on, won't we? Again, we're good to have yeah, them back. every every so often to you know yeah. talk about bits and, bits and pieces with us and have yeah. a have a bit of a bit of a banter. Yeah, and all that, yeah. and then let's know yeah. who and why, who, why, what, where, and when. Oh yes, yeah, and that's uh, that's it for that. I mean, there's a quite a few. There's quite a, what I loved was the fact that there's a lot of people who seem to be generally happy that we're back. So that was very humbling. Loads of comments. Oh, um, I reached them. Yeah, um, there was four dislikes. Who the f are they? <laughs> Warriors coming why for you, you. Why are you focusing on the negative, man? Just focus on the positive. <laughs> oh, he's had yeah. a tea bag. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my days. Um, but yeah, no, uh, in all seriousness, superb. So thank you for everyone for commenting. Keep the comments coming. Keep the love coming. I just realized love. I'm wearing the same T-shirt as last time. Oh, I, I thought about that. Oh, actually. no. I realized the same I thing every single time. <laughs> I do have multiple T-shirts. Yeah. Honest. That... that... <laughs> Nice. You gotta wear that t-shirt at the same time and never wash it. Just keep it like right, you know, and then crusty arms. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
we were going to talk about um, the PS5, weren't we, as well? The PlayStation 5. Indeed, yeah. PS5, Xbox, or new NVIDIA graphics card. What are you buying this year? We know what you're on. We know yes. what you're on. Card. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, uh... I'm going for a big boy graphics card. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, giggity. Yeah. yeah. Gonna go for a big, big 3090, I think. Slam I'm, I'm... that flat big boy in my system. I'm going to try and get a new PC next year, but I think in the interim, I'm going to go for the Xbox Series X. Get that sorted out. I think. I'm, I'm, I am may be tempted by the exclusivity of some of the PS5 games like yeah. God of War, but I don't know. I think I'm probably going to wait until like New Year sales, see what bundles are available on like a PS5, yeah. I think. Um, I'll probably, I mean, like the, the new Spider Man looks good and God of War. Um, yeah. Quite happy yeah, with them. All... Haven't they? The PS5 or the PlayStation exclusive have always been. It's, it's the stronger current. than Xbox lineup because a lot of that yeah. is just available yeah. on PC as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but yeah, there was it's hilarious, wasn't it? They, they announced or they had that uh, showcase a couple of nights ago, and then didn't mention anything about the PlayStation Five launch or as in terms of when you can pre-order. Dropped a little subtle tweet. Oh, by the way, you can pre-order it tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone went into hyperdrive and. Panic mode, and then they're uh, all gone. They're all gone. <laughs> That's the way you do it, PlayStation Classic. Yeah, well done. Well I done. know nothing about any of this. Like, I, I I'm really not. It's, up it's to date like with... you, when, when you're talking about CK3, I'm, you like me now. Well, I had nothing, no idea what you're talking about. So flip I still want to get a Dreamcast again. Yeah, the classics, the retros. Um, but are you guys tempted by Assassin's Creed Valhalla? With yes. the yeah. Yeah, um, I want to. Play. I just don't really like how repetitive those games are. Maybe this one won't be as repetitive, but all you just do is go up to. I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but on Assassin's Creed games nowadays, it's just like the same kind of quests, the same kind of grinding. Didn't uh, didn't what was the what was the most recent one? Was it Odyssey? Odyssey. Odyssey yeah. yeah. Didn't that have a load of um, uh, it allowed you to? You had to spend money. In order to progress quicker in the game, like you could level up quicker if you paid more money, real, real, real current, real money. I can't remember mm. if that was in Odyssey. I think I know I, something about that. Was, it was in Origins because Origins was a big shift. It was more open world compared to previous um, uh, Assassin's Creed and, and more um, a more open uh, leveling system, and and um, it wasn't as restrictive because it, like previously you just press the counter button at the right time and instant takedown where it was more of like a like almost like a destiny kind of system with how you upgrade and, and things like that uh mm -hmm. so i think i think there was definitely something in origin i remember some controversy about yeah like being able to pay you know 10 pounds and getting an xp booster i think Ugh. there are still xp boosters in odyssey Ugh. i, I Ugh. think i think though um you can still get them by using like Ubisoft's like their Uplay currency coin thing for just playing it over time or something like that. I, I can't really remember. It's been a while since I dived into it. I think there was an alternative way of getting it or or a I think they said that... A game should be designed in a way yeah. that you don't need to spend any money to progress at a normal pace yeah. unless, unless it's super grinded. Like, it just shouldn't... It just shouldn't do, you're paying... I, I just... Uh, Back you in shouldn't the have to pay to, Back to, in the to get through the grind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There shouldn't but, even have to be a grind. To yeah, it should be all engaging and enjoyable. It not yeah. shouldn't seem like a grind. Yeah. Yeah. Because I guess if you if you don't want to play the grind, you should have a way to avoid that, right? It's the whole games as a service model which I just really dislike. Mm. Yeah. Do you remember that type? Remember that video you did? Plus three when we played Assassin's Creed. Oh you... god, we were like bloody parrots, weren't we? All different multicolors. It was, I think, this, the, the three, Muppet, the three most competent Muppets play Assassin's Creed. It took about half an hour for me That's to get. Good, on uh... it took about half an hour to get on the position to actually record. Oh god, yeah, yeah. Because oh, it was, it was um, Unity, wasn't it? It was the the yeah. French oh, that, Revolution that was, one. That was, oh god, that was trash. Yeah, that had <laughs> video. Well, wasn't. I feel yeah, like the videos were funny. Yeah, I want to. I want to look at that GTA one. The GTA one as well. Did. did we do a GTA one? We did. Yeah. I, we I got good up. views on that Unity one. It was twenty four k views five years ago, which was pretty good for a non Total War video. Yeah, I remember it doing well. And we, we did. We, went, we did GTA five. We did a question strip bar. 
Oh god, was... yeah, I remember now. Oh god, <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, the cra- and then we're in, we're in the camper van, weren't we? Trying to get away from the cops. And I, I ran, I ran Rambler over when he's trying to get into the car by mistake, and he bumped into him, fell on the floor under the wheel or something. I'll never forget. That's a great video. That was. Yeah. One was trying to recall it now. I think, isn't he? Trying to recall that. Either. I remember yeah. it. <laughs> it was good fun. No, I did enjoy that one. Yeah, it was, it was a good memory one. loss because you ran him over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, talking about you know, in-game currency and in-game purchase, I know that Star Wars have uh, promised, haven't they, that the, the new game, Star Wars Squadrons, won't have any in-game purchases for single player. So they've That came from the mouth of EA? Yes, I know. They've learned from the mistakes. What? I mean, that's the game I'm looking forward to because, I've, I mean, I've never played a flight sim for Star Wars for years since the days of TIE Fighter and X-Wing Alliance, which are, in my opinion, great games. But... I'm looking forward to it, and I hope they do keep it to its proper structure and don't start ruining it with stupid in-game transactions and DLC. You know what I mean? No, not DLC. DLC. Well, the way they did Battlefront, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't do that, EA. Bad EA. Microtransactions, yeah. Naughty. Yeah, we don't do that. Yeah, that 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 seems like I don't know if it probably did sell well because it's it's Star Wars, but I kind of feel like in terms of people's interest, it was like. Mm. Oh, yeah, it, it died within um, about two weeks. They did spend a lot of time, I think, fixing it, and now it's meant to be fun. Which one? The first Battlefront? The, 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 the second new, one. The second one, Battlefront 2, yeah. But, Battlefront 2, yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Was the second one the fix? <laughs> no, yeah. no, the second one was released in, 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 in an even worse state than the first. They really? spent a couple of years, like, fixing it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I never played the second one. Never played it. Uh, nice. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Star Wars Squadrons. I'll give that a go. It looks fun, and they've priced it well, haven't they? It's like yeah, higher price I've... than a normal AAA. Yeah. Basically, because it isn't really a full AAA game, is it? As you say, so yeah, go f- and do that with your sp- with your pricing. Yeah, they haven't they quite... also got rid of Origin as well? Isn't it now just EA something? EA Play, EA Launcher, or something, whatever it. Oh, they the rebranded. I don't know. It. Or something. I saw something about but that. You could get the sorry. Um, you can get the games on Steam now. Most most EA games are coming out on Steam. Yeah. Mm. Kind of accepting that their platform was a an annoyance for most people. Origin was oh, yeah. always better than Uplay. Uplay is still an utter oh, yeah. pile of dog shite. Yeah. What is? Uplay. Uplay Origin. Or oh. oh, where does the Epic launcher come in there? I don't well, know. I haven't used it. Well. I don't have any problems with Epic, really. I've never had any problems with it. But um... oh, the Xbox app—it can be absolute tosh too. Oh, what really? The... What was it? I probably um... shouldn't have said that. I've just done a sponsor video for the yeah! Xbox Game Pass. Uh, no, it ha- it's, it can be buggy. It can be very buggy. I find that of all Windows products nowadays, anyway. The win the Windows the, like the live the live game store or whatever it was. I remember that for what was it? Um, uh. Halo Reach? Is that the RTS one? Maybe. Halo Wars. No, Halo Wars. Halo Wars. Halo Wars Halo. 2. That was yep. like, it was exclusively through the Windows Store and that was such a, like, a kerfuffle trying to access it to then activate and then do like a preview build video or and then the full one. I was just like, I give up. Like, I'm not, no, no, no videos worth this amount of hassle. Like, why? No. A bit of a segue, but I think. I don't know if it's a bit of a new common thing that's coming out with game developers now where they want to do remastered versions of their existing games. Have you seen the announcement of Crisis Remastered? I think that's out today or tomorrow. Uh, oh, I don't really I care think about it's it. it's out today? Yeah. yeah. I was actually it watching exactly a, the same, really. a trailer on it. Yeah. yeah. it's. I do like um, that they've built in a dedicated benchmark mode called Can It Run Crisis now because so many people <laughs> used Crisis as a benchmarking <laughs> tool anyway for tech so they've now built a dedicated Can It Run Crisis extreme graphic setting preset mm-hmm. to test your, your system on. Yeah. It's, uh, I, it seems... I do like the the Game Pass. Uh, I've not the used it yet. Pass. I've not used it yet. Um, is it just I, for uh, games or is it for, three, for, 360, for Xbox One as well, is it? I am mm, not sure. I've only I don't have an Xbox. Oh, well. um, but yeah, I can play like Sea of Thieves. I was playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've installed the Outer Worlds. Uh, Age of Empires Three is going to be available on it. So how how um, does it, how does it work? Remastered edition. It's just a subscription service. You just pay. Oh, but you you get access to them f- 
forever as long as you're paying the subscription fee? Or do they cycle yeah. games in and out? Cycle games. Uh, I don't know if they cycle games out. I they don't know. cycle new ones in. I thought they did, actually. I think so. Because obviously you'd hate it if you're like halfway through a game and then it's like, oh, this one's well, leaving well, I'm sure now. they do that. That's what I thought they did, but because I know they do that for GeForce now, don't they? Sometimes have you have you used that one? I, I don't oh. you don't need it, do you? But that, my PC is that crap. I have to use GeForce now to uh, to play some games sometimes. I may, I may not have I may not have the guns, but the PC but, does. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've got nothing down there. It's like uh, it's like Gollum down there. I tell you, <laughs> master, no. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Yeah, um, <laughs> It wouldn't even work in his motherboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New power supply, please, precious. Yeah, no, I, that's my as I say my next year. But yes, I, I use GeForce now, but I know they, they bring in games and bring games out. But I, I always thought the Xbox passed it as well, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I do not know. It seems to be the way that gaming is going in a lot of ways. I think st- game streaming in games could be a big thing in this next decade, I think. I mean... Remember Google Stadia that that did well. I'll oh, forget that. Yeah, forget <laughs> Stadia. Forget. Well, forget was, that. Was, it, in, in, was it on live that was five years ago? On on oh even more than that. I think I think I've got a lanyard from like an EGX event where on live were like demoing as like revolutionary. T- the biggest problem is that the the internet infrastructure for the vast majority of players, if you don't live in a in a capital or or major city sure. that has fiber everywhere. It's never going to work because the latency just gets terrible and the quality yeah. just drops. I, I remember having a debate with someone on on Twitter about it, and they sort of said, "Oh no, I think it'll be the up the uptake will be be massive." And I was like, "I mean, I don't know where you live, but personally, no one outside of London or or, or maybe Manchester, say, or or you know, big major cities in the UK is going to have a chance of being able to afford or have access to the connection for a good." For, for for a good uh, experience with with Stadia, and he was like, "Oh no no no, no it'll be fun." And, and I'd, I'd I'd love to find the tweet now to be like, "So yeah, Google Stadia, eh?" No, but mm. Nvidia, I think they've got the power to push it forward, and they've got because Nvidia quite uh, they can be quite revolutionary, can't they, in what they are doing and at the forefront. I mean, I think of- they've they've really got the hardware as well that supports yes, it. Exactly. Um, I mean, Google, it's just got, you know for Stadia, it was kind of let's spread our our reach into even more pies, basically, you know, and any sphere that they can get themselves interested yeah. in, you know, I mean, they're, they're going to go for it. And maybe, maybe Stadia will recover and relaunch or rebrand or just tick on over. And as time goes on, as more places have access to better internet connections and as the tech matures um, and, uh, and more people have access to better connections and latency is reduced, maybe it will be a thing. But I mean, for me right now, I personally can't ever think of a time where I wouldn't want a PC of some kind or a console of some kind right in front of me, physically connecting me in my living room or in my office with the game I want to play rather than waiting for an internet connection to to provide that to me. I appreciate that to play most most games now, you have to be online in some capacity just to activate the game, as it were, even if it's a single player game. But yeah, um, I sound like old man Lionheart now. Don't, don't make me always online. No. Give me a give me a CD drive. <laughs> he says, having not had a CD drive in his PC for like Margaret? seven years. Yeah. Yep. Are we ever up for doing this as a live stream, or is that just a a pipe we'll dream? Cast, we'll cast live. I think we need we need like a Bake Off style tent and everything, and you know have the have the live studio audience. Um, uh, I mean, potentially, um, yeah. if we can get the YouTube channel to a certain level, we can enable stuff. Yeah, we could do it through that. We just so, get people to subscribe. Subscribe, please. Know, you get to loads of people interacting on the chat, and they'll be asking. Also, yeah, we could have a bit of a Q and A at the end if yeah, you want. Be it. Well, let me ask you some questions. How how's your return to YouTube been, uh, Warrior? It's been like a little while now. How's it going? Mm. Good question. Interesting. Um, it's harder than I thought it was going to be. If, if I'm going to be brutally honest, I thought it's harder. Than, the algorithm is tougher than it, than it was. Um, it's. I thought coming back would have been easier than it has been. 
if I'm honest with you. Uh, I thought that um, I thought I could just walk back in and done whatever I wanted and it would be been okay, really. But I don't, it hasn't been. So I'm changing the way I'm doing videos, trying to think about new ways to to keep it going. Because I think for you, for someone like yourself, Lionheart, you know, is one of the kings of Total War Let's Plays. It's okay. You've got a core. You've got a good solid foundation of, of subscribers who will watch your videos and will always support. And obviously, when new things come out, fantastic. For my, for me, it's kind of a half. I've got to try and bring the channel from the dead. And so when I try to do Let's Plays, it just doesn't, it just nose dies. And I think the way the algorithm is nowadays with YouTube, if I try and do a Let's Play, it it it, it goes against me. Uh, and I know, I know you said this, haven't you, Ramble, before, if you do a video that doesn't perform well, it goes against you. So I, I've kind of realized very, very quickly coming back, I've got to be a bit more um, inventive, I suppose is the word, and, and see... And not be not be fooled by thinking that one type of video is going to be is going to be successful as it was. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 a tougher algorithm now. And I think was the way YouTube is. You know, there's loads of much more channels out there. There's much more. Kind of, I say competition, but is there's different content out there that's. Keep just your... um, trying to get your videos in front of more people now is harder than ever. That's I think. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Uh there's so much <laughs> there's so much content out there and there's only a limited but well, I say limited. I'm sure the uh, audience base on YouTube is growing all the time but uh there's there's a very limited market for what we do which is a niche of a niche. Mm. Um preach. Yeah. Yeah, so so there's there's only going to be so many people with so uh, much amount of time that they can dedicate that they want to watch uh, videos. So it's 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 kind of when I came back, I was oh yeah, I'm back and it's all going to be wonderful. And I thought, yeah, you kind of you know because you haven't done it for two years, you're kind of all fresh and really eager and happy to do it. And then when and then start... YouTube comes in, it's like fuck, fuck no, you, fuck your channel. And you have to start doing the you have to you have to start doing the hard work and balancing with other work and you've got your kids and everything and you have to start creating the content and then the hard work really kicks in and you watch your video and it gets like 150 views, you think it's not fucking waste my time, is it? So I've got, I've got to try and try and change it. Well you know, um, it's also uh you're at, I remember when you were coming back, I watched your video saying like even if one person watches it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I, I know. I think about that, and I think, well, yeah, it, it is that. But I kind of think I got carried away in the old returning and thinking everything will be rosy, and that uh, that you know, I, I, I thought it'd be, as I said, I thought it'd be easier than it is. Um, but then, as I say, when you do the hard work and you start putting out the content, and you you look at it, and there's nothing much coming back. You think, well, I'm wasting my time. Is it really worth me doing it? And of course, I want to do it. I want to try and grow. I mean. My my idea is for YouTube, and I've always wanted to be this. I'm not going to try and deny it. Is to do what you do, you two do, where it's full time. Why would I try and say it isn't going to be? Because that would be a, a wonderful thing to be able to do, and have this as your job. So um, I've got to try and keep seeing what I can do to try and get to that at some point. If it, were. because when I left in two, when I left two and a half years ago. I was still working through. I was grinding away. I wasn't obviously at the point where I could do it full time, but I was making real good progress. And obviously now I've lost, kind of lost a lot of that impetus with the uh, with the two and a half years. I've 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 lost it, and it's and then I've got, gone away. You see, so I've got to try and work that back in that. You see, so you've, that question's opened up a can of worms. Like, like oh, go on, go on. I, I'm pretty sure, you know, sure I, like a lot I, of I've got to be real. Watch the podcast are interested. Yeah, I've got to be realistic. I've got to. I've got to think. Well, is it because of the? I forgot how much it takes. That's the word. I forgot how much work is involved. You know, you two know for a while how much work is involved in it. And when you're trying to balance it with everything else you've got, and you're not seeing anything back from me, think, God, I've got to. I don't want to give up on this because I never. I never want to quit anything. I hate quitting something. So I thought to myself, I've got to change it. I've got to do something. And I kept reading up about the algorithms and how things are with YouTube nowadays, and I thought, you know, it's it's not as it was once was. So I've got to 
well, as I think there's a saying, isn't that you, you 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 you'd be crazy if you carry on doing the same thing again and again and not expecting different results and things like that. So there we go, basically. Thanks for that. Uh, so, <laughs> you had one video do very well recently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth reforged. Yeah, I can't believe they've done this. Fifty thousand views on that. <laughs> what the hell? You know, every time I put out a video that's not in a, not about total war. Yeah. It does fucking great. The um, video I did about ancient cities before I left. Oh, yeah, them. yeah. Mm. 850,000 views. Maybe you should One do more, more, more reactionary type yeah, first look yeah. deep dives so about I've got to... upcoming games. And then once you've got that, that growth of those more uh, one-off edited or reactionary type videos that are kind of about more prominent current topics then you can start kind of rolling back into more regular like almost like let's play episodic type stuff if you yeah, want to exactly. because you'll have that you'll have that hit every time you release something yes. big yeah. and whoa and then you know that will eventually trickle down to the episodic stuff sure yeah you're absolutely right because at the moment you you, you say you've got a very good for yourself find out that big subscriber active subscriber base which is you know giving you that initial traffic all the time with your videos. And it's the same with, you know, for example, if Apollo did a video of a Let's Play series, you know, he's got a good solid base. I know Rambler's more for the one-off videos nowadays. And obviously it's it's great in that instant hit that he gets. But for me, it's, it's like I've only got a small active sub base now. That 65,000 subs I've got doesn't reflect the channel. It doesn't reflect the channel in any way. I, I... I kind of would like YouTube just to wipe away subscribers that have been uh, that haven't watched a video in the past twelve months. Yes, yeah. Because mm. I think the amount of like dead subscribers that I have is is probably very large. Yeah, that's uh, the worst. I, 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 that video I released, um, what was it? The end of an era. Like I, I wasn't expecting that kind of reaction to it because usually if I do an update video, it gets like twenty or thirty thousand views. I... I don't. Um, I think I think people would be because I said to you before we were starting recording. I think people are naturally nosy, naturally want to know what I mean by that. Ooh, what's he mean by that? Click on that. Um, yeah, no, it wasn't really. It was partly to do with the channel. We're partly to talk through some of like. Uh, I don't really. I, I don't. I still don't like really like admitting it, but certain like addictions I've had. Uh, so I don't know. For me, it's almost like a bit of a therapeutic video. Yeah. Um, uh, and for my channel, at least, I've I I, I I'm on I'm, I'm still like in terms of oh my cameras. Yeah, so I say the focus is gone. There. Hello, hello. Microsoft focus, oh, Alex. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Oh, he's done that before. Oh yeah, he knows what to do. Focus again. It still looks fucking blurry. Piece this, of... is you're gonna, this is something I was going to ask you about. You're going to invest in some high quality equipment, are you, in Canada? You're going to get like a, a proper camera, are you, and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably spend like three or four thousand dollars on new equipment when I'm when I get to Canada. Hey. Um, but uh, I think it's all tax write-offs. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. uh, but for me, um, I think I spoke about this in the last uh, episode. Like, my channel's been on a decline for a while, and I and I certainly contributed to that now in the fact that I've just been working less. Um, because I, I don't know, I, I was working seven days a week, 10 hours a day for like two and a half years. And now I'm at a point where I'm like, well, I'll make videos when I want to, uh, which isn't good. <laughs> I, need, I need to kind of get, become more consistent. And I've probably been taking on too many sponsored videos too. Um, and I, I don't know, I, I'm not creating content that's going to appeal to a mass audience either. So I just need to, I need I need to do with the same thing that you're doing, uh, Sparta. I need really need to really need to think and be tactical about the videos that I'm uploading. I was naive. I, I, I'll admit it. I was stupidly naive when I came back a year, month ago. I, I just thought it would be yeah, it's all right. I'm back. Everything's going to be all fine like it was before. No, and YouTube's like, <laughs> yeah. So, but you've you've learned from that though. Yeah, so, and yeah, I said yeah. you're 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 trying new things out, and you're seeing what is getting the the big reactions yes. and yeah. and what isn't. And exactly. I think in your situation, you know, being flexible is like the best option in terms of you know if you were saying like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna die on this hill of all I'll ever do is let's plays of Total War and that's it. Then 
you probably would struggle. But yeah. if you can, you know, you're you're gonna be able to do Total War Let's Plays. It's just also crafting other content that at least helps reinvigorate the channel for a bit and starts getting things flowing again. And then you can be like, hey, if you want to see something a bit more long format, episodic, I'm going to try doing this. And maybe Absolutely. it will still get much lower views. But, you know, if you're slowly but surely building up the regular viewership, some of it will trickle on down. Um, yeah, obviously, yeah, you might not want to do the long yeah. format stuff. You might want to keep doing the high hitting you know impact pieces yeah. and, and things like that it's ultimately it's you know you've got to do the content that you're going to enjoy doing as you said for the amount it. of time and effort you pile into it you've got to enjoy what you're doing um you know if you can be flexible in what you want to create as well to ideally optimize it for what's going to give you the the best chance of growing and and and, and seeing more viewership then that's you know that's that's ideal i mean if someone said like you're coming across because I actually made a comment on my video. You don't mind us talking about this, do you? Because I'm thinking we're not rambling on our way. So. No, no. Okay, cool. um, from a, I think from a viewer standpoint, people will be very interested to hear more about the uh, a lot of how we, how we approach YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so. A lot of people think it's say... almost taboo or against a contract or something no, no. to kind of dive into this. But no, let's no, just... let's rip it open. I, I put a comment on saying that is that my Red Dev series. I cannot tell you how much I wanted that to work. I really wanted that to work because I love the game. And it's it's a catch way too because I personally, I think I do prefer and are better at recording episodic Let's Play series. I, I think I prefer it. And I think, as I say, it's it's where I come over better, I, I feel. And I would love to have that series have done well, but it, it, it tanks. It tanked from the start. So I said to myself, I just looked at it and gone, no, this isn't going to work. So I put on the episode, I put that this this is the last one, I think, because I'm not going to get any views on it. And someone said, you, you've lied to us. And I thought, God, yeah, I feel really bad because I kind of feel like I, I suppose I have led people down the garden path. And I've said that, uh, yeah, I don't care about the views and all this other stuff. But then it kind of quickly gets you again. Do you know what I mean? It gets you when you're back on it. You think, oh, I've got to... You get that rush, as Rambler said on his video. You get that rush of endorphins. Oh God, this video is doing great, and I'm back, and it, it's it's doing fantastic. And when you see it, when you see a video nosedive, it can get you down. And we talked about depression in the last episode, didn't we, and stuff like that. And it gets me down. You know, I think, you know, God, is this is this well, all I said, can get? You is really wanted it to got? work. You poured your heart and soul yeah. into creating content that you loved making, and it didn't. It didn't I... get anything back to well it didn't yeah. get as much back as you were expecting or hoping for to kind of give you that next hit of awesome i'm psyched to do the next one in yeah. i go even more so than before i mean i'd say have you maybe considered streaming the series as a as a as a longer format thing yeah. and then editing it up into that highlights of it's still almost episodic but that way it's more of one-off hits yeah, you see, that's the thing. You see, I, I, I always thought, well, maybe we should start live streaming because I know live streaming is much preferred for a let's play format. I think a, let's, a streamer is really good for having a let's play on. Look at, um, I'm terrible with names when we're on videos like this. It's that guy who does, uh, oh, I'll have to look at his name. He, he's really good for doing episodic let's plays and he's like into 100 episodes within a few days of it being out and he's released it on YouTube in episodic chunks. I've forgotten his name. Um, Call Carnage. Is that it? Con Carnage? Oh, something? okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, he's does that all the time. And I, I think to myself, yeah, maybe I should go live stream, but then I haven't got the time for that. I haven't got the time for that and YouTube. If I was full-time YouTuber, I'd definitely do like, um, live stream, like yourself, Lion, where you go on you know, three or four or five days a week and do it in chunks like that and then release those as extra content. And then obviously do my YouTube videos at the same time. I would definitely do that if I had the time, but I've got to balance everything. So at the moment, mm -hmm. I'm just going to try and concentrate on YouTube and see where that goes and and bring it back. I mean, but if it, if it was just for the views and it was just for the money, I kind of probably wouldn't have come back because if it was for that, I would have thought, well, it's it's gone two and a half years. I've not been doing YouTube. It's, it's over. But I came back because I do love making content. I love 
entertaining, getting videos out to people. And I, but I like to see them doing well at the same time with the end goal, obviously, to obviously to be doing this on a full time basis. Um, you know, it would be it'd, be it'd be wrong, I think, if anyone was to turn around as a YouTuber and say, oh, I'll just do this and I don't want to do it ever full time. I just want to do it for a hobby. Well, OK, but I'd, I'd, I'd think about it, have a look at yourself and think, really, is that is that really why or why do you want to do it when you could just be offline playing games for fun? You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's been a bit, of like a, a bit of a, you know, like, I guess a, a reality check for you, perhaps, like coming Close. back and, I mean, I, and, I and hitting. I don't hit... suffer with de- I don't suffer with depression too badly but sometimes i get down about things and you i'm very much of a purpose and i don't mean that maybe because i'm 36 and i'm in a midlife crisis but um you want to you want to have achieved something in your life i feel and what i do as a job it's not it doesn't give me a purpose it doesn't give me i won't look back at when i'm 65 and go oh yeah that was a fucking great job i really i feel like i really achieved something in my life if i was to do youtube and I kind of I make it for for Rambler as well with this. Obviously, when Rambler's uh, was upset, you know, upset. But you're talking about obviously with your your end of an era, and you mentioned about I have to look at myself sometimes and realize what I've achieved. You've achieved phenomenal because you are you can do this on a full time basis, and this is your job. And and my dad has always said to me to be able to be in a position where you can do a hobby as a job, you, you've kind of won won the lotteries of life and. That would be phenomenal for me. If I could look back when I'm 65 and said what I've done in this with YouTube and I've created this and gone, wow, I've, I've made something of something. I've done something of something. That, that would be that be much well, more. You know, I think th- I think you have like you've got what yeah, almost 15, 15 million views on the throughout the lifespan of your channel, which is still an incredible achievement. Yeah. Through, yeah. For anyone. There's a lot of channels that never even get anywhere near that. True, true. It's just I want, I want to take and, it. And, I don't, and I don't... you've come back recently. You come back recently and got yeah, fifty thousand views have... on on a on a on a totally different video, which was an experiment for you doing something different. Like I'm a stupid millennial. I want everything straight away. <laughs> That's what... damn, I don't damn, know how you feel about it, but like, have you considered starting a brand new channel and then just trying to bring your current audience that remains over to that one and then try and grow it? Because often, I don't know. This isn't. This isn't perfect science or any kind of science in any way but you you might have a better growth traction because like your engagement will be far higher on your new channel than it yeah. is on your um i may consider that down the line i'm just, I'm just going to try chipping away at this one because i i kind of feel there's something left in it i mean there's something must be there i mean the fact that i got that those views on that lord of the rings video there's something must be there as lion said i've kind of got to re- re- so review what i do going forward um I'm gonna put my fingers in some pies, see what it, see how it feels, and see what we can do, and then go from there. But I don't, I don't want to lose what I've lost, sorry, what I've done with with the Warrior Sparta channel, really yet. So I, I'm gonna give that time at least and see. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'll, I'll try and obviously keep working with the. I mean, it it is nowadays. I think early access is a big thing, isn't it? I'll keep working with Total War and hopefully get early access with their yeah. content. Definitely, it's, it, it's far more established. Like you know, when yeah. when we all first started it was and you know some a lot of game developers didn't have influencer or or yeah. even like almost community management yeah. department See, it, it was maybe it was yeah. maybe someone at the end of a contact email and they were kind yeah. of like oh um uh we could we could maybe send you a a, a game a disc in the post Wait, <laughs> the way like, you know the from 2014 to now is Pretty, pretty good. I mean, the way they've got Discord set up, they've got everything structured and everything. They have a communication system and a PR manager and everything. It, it didn't used to be like that back in 2014. It was, I think, it was Will and Craig, wasn't it, as a as a contact, the, the so, dynamic duo. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, yeah. I've just got to. I've got to evaluate. I'm, I'm going to carry on where I'm doing what I'm doing now. The high impact sort of you know battles and videos about different vid, different games coming out and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, and I'm, I'm you know, I've opened, you opened a can of worms, Rambler, but I think you, it's, 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 it was needed to be said, to be honest with you, because a lot of people will probably thought, well, why is he, why is he double back from what he said he was going to do? So, um, ah, so you can change, like, you can change, you can change your uh, stance on something. It's not like you're, 
it's it's set in stone. You don't have to pour concrete yeah. on your feet. Exactly. Um, yeah, you, you've got to, You've got to try um, and see. Where, well, where the thing is, you, you have you have tried, and maybe you know you say you're realizing maybe it's not working with the. the, oh, yeah. I'm, the, the, oh, the let's the... play is not dead. I'm never not going to do let's oh, play. Yeah, I just think yeah. I need to do. I need to structure it in a way which is going to. Yeah, you can still you can still approach it the way you you want to. It's just about tweaking it and optimizing it so that you get the the best impact as possible. Like I don't I don't think you should suddenly you know you shouldn't suddenly become a a, a Minecraft or a oh, no, you, know, no, YouTube, you, you, know, all, you can yeah. still you can still very much do the content on the games I'm, you want to cover. Sure. It's just about shaping and crafting it in as much of a unique, impactful way as possible to to give yourself as much traction to help you you know self rejuvenate the oh, channel as much as you can i did say i mean on that video where i did announce what i was going to be doing i, I did say i wouldn't leave total war and that's something I, I won't do i will keep to total war keep to strategy because that's where obviously the, the 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 main traffic is for the channel what they want to see so i kind of think i'm going to do a red dead let's play was a kind of a, a segue which was a bit too extreme i think so maybe uh um i'll keep to strategy and, and go from there and and I think, as I say, do the Let's Play format. I mean, I wish I could do what Surreal does, or um, I think even Simpsy Turtle Wars does it a little bit, where they will they will cut down the Let's Plays of the episodes into more edited chunks. But time, it, that's the problem. It's yeah. time for me. How's uh, your channel going? Line up? Yeah, it's doing good. I'm honestly really happy with how Crusader Kings Three's done. Um, I have even I respected, you know, people that do high edited let's play uh, let's plays and just one off edited videos like yourself when you'll take you know weeks sometimes to to work on something or or, or what have you um, to a whole it's new level. <laughs> yeah. oh, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> um, but I've been trying to edit down my Twitch recordings. Or still release it as a YouTube series, but to kind of get rid of all the bits where I'm just focusing on the chat. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, lessen that so it's more of a fully engaged experience all the time rather than specifically me just zoning out on the Twitch chat so that I know the content's going to end up on YouTube so it, it doesn't detract too much from the gameplay. But just trying to do daily uploads of that with some editing involved, normally like an hour or hour and a half's worth each day, like cramming that in has been oh boy sometimes I mean, yeah damn it's it's it's, it's running tough it's but hard. um because my my typical editing process or, or just recording process for it for a youtube let's play series is press record yeah. hello welcome everyone lan Hart here with insert part number and insert game record oh, for 30 to 40 minutes press the stop record button uh drag that into premiere pro put the intro on it fade in fade out render and then upload that you know, this is quite a shock to the system to actually do some editing work of watching yes. it back through, finding the dull moments, going, we don't need that. I don't need to spend five minutes every time I want to marry off an heir, looking around all the kingdoms, finding the best person with all the inheritable traits that isn't fully inbred yet in Crusader Kings 3. That's so the, like... algorithm. That's the algorithm that's done this. So is that the way YouTube has evolved? It's made you sort of kind of what change it in a way? I to... think it was m more kind of... I, I did originally when I was the start of the year shifting towards more Twitch content, I was just dumping, you know, cutting up five hour Twitch streams and going, here's an hour, cut, 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 and just dump it up on YouTube. And I don't want it to be a, a dump onto YouTube. I want it to be a, uh, you know, a, a, a uh, valued piece of content that, yes, was was created on Twitch, but also has a, a place and a good following on YouTube. And I think from the feedback I've had, a lot of people are, you know, they're still enjoying the the odd sword waggle. Um, but they're, you know, they're, they're, I'm, I'm focusing more on just getting through the game and on, on the key highlight moments. And that's that's done really well. So the Twitch channel's doing great. The YouTube channel for CK3 is surpassing, I mean, it surpassed Troy quite comfortably in terms of views and, and revenue uh it's, it's doing really well in terms of a long format series i think that's more down to the fact that i've never done a daily release of a series before so keeping that every single day has kept the growth and the traction on that that content very fresh for me so you should um consider an editor if you're gonna keep doing edit like high, highly edited content it yeah saves, 
I'm uh, I've, I'm reviewing some portfolios at the moment because uh, I'm like, nope, this is this is too much for one little Lionheart. Mm. You get to that point, don't you? I think a lot of YouTubers will get to a point where they'll hit it and they'll go, "It's now time for an editor." Uh, yeah. And then I think that can open up. That can really open up a, a a real great few opportunities for you as a channel, because they can then take the time out of your day to work on editing your videos, but and maybe editing it into a really good high standard that you haven't got the time to do, which then it obviously increases your um, quality of videos, which then dr possibly can drive higher traffic. So editing and having an editor, I think, is a great step forward to any channel. Yeah, to be I think in. I think it's not going to be long before yeah, I have a, a dedicated editor that I'll have working on a few projects for me, primarily because I'm I'm streaming more and some of it can just migrate its way straight to YouTube but some of it especially with Crusader Kings where there's more of a story you know role play element to it there there's there's a there are some dull moments that just don't need to be mm. to be seen and and it's some kind of things like campaign, isn't it same with that yeah it'll be it'll be interesting to see if maybe I try something like that with with, with Total War um as you said there's, there's other creators out there that are are doing similar sorts of things uh, focusing more on narr narrative story driven stuff which obviously is having good results for them and might be something that i look into doing um how long does it take, long does it take yourself rambler with it you know with a hoy episode when you do the uh, hearts of iron 4 challenge mm. you do uh, i bet that must take hours of gameplay wasn't it before you can chuck can sort of cut it down into content yeah yeah i bet it can uh, <laughs> i also play the game entirely at five speed so oh, right. okay. Um, so how I, do you, I how, do you, get... how do you catch anything? Uh, I pause it, and if I need to make a decision, then I do All that, right. and then uh, I I become quite lazy with Hearts of Iron content, really, because like I won't micro my units anymore. I'll just battle plan them, and because I know how to beat the AI, even if I take a fair number of casualties, I know I'm going to win. I I kind of have it down to a T, and that's why I. I I've been doing less Hearts of Iron videos just because it's not creatively fulfilling. You feel burnt out um, by it. Hmm? You feel burnt out by it a bit. Yeah, like if you make the same video for the 500th time. Yeah. Um, what's going on, everyone? It's me. Oh, boy. Thanks for Rambler. Back up once again. Hearts of Iron Yeah. Uh, and I've been doing that for three years now. So <laughs> I like that. <right. laughs> um, I need to find something else that. Uh, I find creatively feel it fulfilling. Um, I don't mind doing the occasional Hearts of Iron video because there are still mods coming out that could be really fun. Um, but yeah, playing the base game holds no interest for me whatsoever. And people are like, you should do multiplayer games. And it's like, well, I did for two years and they drove me insane. Yeah. So you, you said you used to do them on live streams and they were. I used to live stream them and then uh, the videos would sometimes get edited down into a video. Yeah. Um, but I, I have. <laughs> By the end of it, I just hated doing them. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, for most videos, I will have between two and four hours of footage edited down into uh, uh, 15, 20 minutes. God, that's a, lot of, that's a lot to edit down. I mean, sometimes I might go and have some lunch, come back, and I'll leave the game running sometimes if I'm stuck in a stalemate. Um, yeah. Well, because sometimes the AI will just cycle charge you the entire time. So I can just go off, have some lunch, come back, and they've taken like five million casualties, mm. and then I can press go, and then I'll just win. <laughs> Love it. There you go. Or you know, I need to take a shit. I'll go and I'll go and have a dump, and then I'll come back and uh, return. Um, that's the joy of not doing like let's plays and, and stuff like that. You can go and then come back, um, yeah. and then just be like you know crop. And it's edited out, but I don't really edit many of my videos at the moment. I have um, a friend of mine doing them. And this is it, you see, because I've got to try and balance it with that editing, recording, admin of YouTube. I'm kind of trying to do two full time jobs in one go. And I've got the kids, I've got my other job, I've got the house to look after, I've got my wife. You know, I can't neglect my wife. You gotta look after your wife. And, uh, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Hey, that's it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Something. perfect yeah, timing yeah, we are doing youtube you know this is this is an actual live video you're on record here christ alive okay right yeah i am recording you know here yeah no Should yeah God. sorry about this you carry on I'll... what's karen I'm, I'm intrigued I, um 
you get, you get that bit when you know the channel goes offline for a bit and you get that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love her really. Are you um, today? Are you being up here all day? It's not me, so you can't balance it. <laughs> you can't balance it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll have to come, have to come down. Right, okay. Bye. Do you have to go? No, I don't have to go yet, but yeah. Okay. I'll... That's what I mean. Exactly, it's perfect timing. It's the balance of everything. Um, um, which is where it is, you see. So, like, I'm trying to stream more, but kind of distance myself from Hearts of Iron completely when I stream, um, and just kind of have fun. Oh, guys! With it. Yeah, because uh, I think for uh, the longest time, I, I, although this is essentially a dream job, I kind of lost all enjoyment for it for a time. What? Um, so, uh, yeah. Really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um. Like I, I was releasing videos I didn't really care about. I was just doing it for money. Like it's. Um. Yeah. So now I'm trying to find uh kind of the joy in in the creative process again. Um. I think it's partly like mental health too. Like I I haven't really been top tip 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 top with my mental health. So that was contributing to it too. Uh, and then I was stuck in that negative mindset of like, oh, people only want to watch Hearts of Iron 4. I, I freaking hate it. I, I hate this game. When in reality, I don't hate the game. Um, uh, I'm more I get more frustrated at the fact that YouTube won't push anything else apart from Hearts of Iron, which is frustrating. But at the end of the day, like, if I can entertain, I, I'm still entertaining on average tens of thousands of people for every video I upload, whether it's Hearts of Iron or isn't or something else. Um, and that's still like you know it's incredibly humbling that 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 you know a good like thirty to fifty thousand people will usually click on any video whatever whatever it is. It's um, funny. So if I, if you I need to kind of through some like cognitive behavior therapy, you kind of like change the way you look at scenarios and really um, counter your assumptions uh, and like replace them with like the facts. Like I can I can clearly see like although the view count is lower on average on on videos that aren't hearts of iron tens of thousands of people are still enjoying them so it's you take looking at it from a different perspective <clears throat> yeah um it, but your mind can very easily get stuck into that rut that's it exactly and you, you said about that with you youtube you choose algorithms shane and i've never looked at algorithms at all before really but it's it's got me into it now and you think god i don't want to go down that route of being obsessed with analytics and obsessed with algorithms but uh as you say, YouTube is ruthless in the fact that if you don't put a certain video or you don't do a certain type of content or or, or, or something that's not going to be interesting or let's play episode 55 or something for me, YouTube won't push it out at all. They'll just go, nope, no chance. And uh, it's getting used to that as well, I guess. It's different than it was 2017. Most definitely it's different now than when it, when it was when I left. Definitely. It changes every few months. Like you does. have to constantly adapt every few months. <laughs> yeah. the top five oh. point. Top five this, top five that. Was I remember that, that was a big thing, wasn't it, for ages? Yeah, lists. Yeah. yeah. See, I, 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 Lionheart's great because uh, not, uh, yeah. I mean, in the fact that, you know, you've been doing it so what, since 2010, was it you first started? 2009. And you've built that nice and steady. It's like, um, I know you're looking at a massive, bigger scale as well. We look at like PewDiePie and Rad Brad and people like that, and just examples. But they started off so early when YouTube was so sort of in its infancy. You could grow, and you've naturally grown with it, and it's kind of you've know, you've kept that subscribe, that foundation of active subscribers with you all the time. And coming into it now, if you if I came into if I came into YouTube and just did Let's Plays. An episode, episodic less plays as a new channel. I don't think you get anywhere on on it's really, on, really on, tough. I think you would get anywhere on it. I think the way if you wanted to do that would honestly stream it and then yeah. edit it up into Absolutely. impactful. And that's why people are doing live videos. streams, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 um, yeah. It's it, it having that because live streaming is a longer format um kind of interaction anyway. Uh, it it makes sense that longer format style uh, content like let's plays will will thrive will thrive on that um but yeah it's definitely it's it's i mean it's not impossible it's not no, impossible no. but it is incredibly difficult yeah. if you were to start a channel today and go i'm going to do let's plays 
it'd be incredibly tough to to Absolutely. do it so i think like the best way to do it would probably combine that that live element with some editing um for I, for maximum growth i think people buy into a live streamer's personality more and a youtuber's content more if you know what i mean do you know what i mean i, I, I think I, yeah because li- live yeah you're you are having that that live engagement with the with the uh, with the with the streamer with the creator so it, it probably i think it will be more of a case of people will probably stick around more ne- for the specific person rather than the game even on like early access or launch day streams it will be they'll look for who's the person i think uh, resonates best with how you know i would want to play the game or, or are they a good player do i want to watch someone that's funny playing the game it would be kind of how they what sort of play style and sort of what sort of personality they have it probably something as 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 close to how they are as a gamer is probably yeah. what resonates uh, a fair bit um with with streaming yeah. because if you look at like someone like Rad Brad as say the you know, example I used when he first started out back in 2010, 2009, and he had, I think he got 12 million subscribers. He's one of you know, the biggest sort of walk through let's players of content nowadays. You know, if you get a new game out, he's kind of the one who's got the first episode out. If he started now, I guarantee you he wouldn't be where he was. I'm not being negative or nasty. Or anything. I just know that just the way it is, he wouldn't be where he is now if he, if he, was, if he started out in 2020. Um, and yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's kind of, I don't know. I I think YouTube doesn't like to, it likes to keep viewers engaged and it it likes to watch time. It likes to keep viewers on the platform, looking at other videos after your video. And it's all that sort of stuff that it wants nowadays. And it doesn't want clickbait. It doesn't want long let's play episodes you say anymore or the, the clicks it's more about the view time isn't it i suppose yes, yeah it's all about watch time and having the best um, um impressions, click rate and all that sort impressions of impressions and seo to then get your get the following up content in the recommended list like yes. getting getting youtube to recommend your content is like one of the best ways to to have mm. it get those those viewers and that growth come so come through it, it so if you if can hit those markers if you're watching this guys the warcast and you want to become a youtuber Good luck. <laughs> it's very hard. No, yeah, it's, it's obviously go for it. But... Well, there's a video I want to make, but I don't know if anyone's going to click on it. But I might just make it anyway. Uh, like there's um there's a there's a tiny Stonehenge near where I grew up, like a, a tiny version of Stonehenge. So I wanted to just kind of kind of make a video of like uh and entitle it um the mini Stonehenge that you've never heard of. But I don't know if anyone would want to click on watch it. Why not? You've got nothing to lose. Yeah, it's true. Because there are tons of standing stones around the UK, and like Stonehenge is the only one that gets any love. And Stonehenge is no like everyone knows. I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the world know like know what Stonehenge is. It's like an IRL sort of video, is it? Like sort of live. Um, well, I I have like little videos of when I walked down there ages ago. It's it's although it's vertical, it's not. I didn't do it horizontal. <laughs> um, so it'd be a mixture of that, and then like me kind of overlaying it with um, information and and classic Rambler charm. Mm. I say go for it. I've watched and that. It, might as well. You've got your second channel as well, haven't you, uh, Rambler? You've got as well as your main channel. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't uploaded there on that one for a month. Yep. <laughs> Dead. Um, but yeah, again, I got stuck just doing the same freaking video again and again. Like People just started clicking on Risk. I'm like, well, I don't want to keep playing Risk all the time. I quite like that we do this sort of discussion on the podcast because it kind of gives people watching it um, a bit of an insight because. It's very easy to put on the front on YouTube. As as you said on your video, Rambler, you switch your button, don't you? You naturally put in a better version of yourself when yeah. you come to YouTube. And to talk like this and for people to hear it is great because it, we are human and uh, it is tough sometimes. Um, I also but... think that, um, celebrity worship isn't healthy. No. So yeah. I, I, I think that people have... I mean, we're very in the grand scheme of things, we're very small creators, but we still have fans, right? And I, and I think that there needs to be a, a healthier relationship between fans and um, how they see the YouTuber. Like, they shouldn't be like, "Oh my God, he's amazing!" Like, they always uh, never meet your hero. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be disappointed if you meet me. When well, no, I don't know, <laughs> um, but it's it, no, actually, that's you, you might think I'm quite a nice guy, but who knows? Um, but the thing goatee. is, like, mm. yeah, well. 
Um, but it, I think it's very important just to realize like every person you may look up to, they're just uh, as flawed as you are. Exactly. Um, you know, don't don't hold us to like don't hold us onto a pedestal. Um, it's very you know, easy with social media and people are yep. glorified, aren't they? Yep. Uh, and you don't really know what's going on inside any of our heads or any of the things that we've done in our lives. We only, you, you people find our videos entertaining. You see, you see exactly um, what we but, want you to see. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an but I think this podcast is a good way just to kind of show us a bit more, like just, 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 shoot the breeze. It's quite boring, really, aren't we? All of us. <laughs> we've all got normal, red, normal lives. We just. No, we get I... up, make breakfast. Yeah, have a shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you do that before? So, Did you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now no, I need the fiber boost in the morning. Oh, to get not... I had my mid mid twenties, and and morning scheduling for the the d morning deposit yeah, I'm was up, just whoa. Twenty four hour every day, the same time every day. Yeah. Is that the same I never. Year? I always used to be irregular. You know, when I was in my teens and early twenties, oh, I'll go when I need, whenever, whatever. Now, like clockwork, every morning, if I don't go, oh, the stomach grumblies. No, I'm becoming what? old. I feel old, Gandalf. <laughs> Wash away with too much bread. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I've got to have that. Got to have that scheduled. Uh, okay. Scheduled deposit uh, each morning. But there, yeah. Um, I'm. I'm glad you brought it up, actually, Ramley, because I, I, I thought it'd be. I, I try to dust under the carpet with what I was, but I thought no, that's that you you may as well say it. Um, what? No, we're talking about you know when me coming back and oh uh, right yeah each of tune already within a month of doing it is uh, well you can change it. How, how many things can change in a month? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've quit Hearts of Iron Four several times, and I still still upload yeah. it now. <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah, back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. A lot of and and as you said, right, quite rightly, everyone's just doing their thing. Everyone's just doing YouTube to fully, you know, do the daily the daily battle of YouTube and go with it or not. If you know, if as, as I've said to people before, if people don't want to watch my content or, or are pissed off because I've changed my my routine or what I'm going to be doing, just unsubscribe. You know, it's it's not. It's not your. You don't have to say subscribe if you don't want to. I'm not forcing you. So, um, but you know, I want people to enjoy the content I make absolutely. But I've got to look at it from a perspective of well, what's going to be right for me. Um, so that's why I've reviewed it within a month and gone. You know what? It's not going to work. So I'm going to change it up. Do it. There you go. There you Best go. Best of luck, buddy. We have, we have been quite deep in both of our last two. I think we've become we've we changed men since we we last did this in 2017. This is the podcast you listen to while you have that long morning poo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Support, if I think like thinker. compared to when five years ago, I I, I think that I'm changed yeah. yeah. a completely different person, really. Yeah. That's By the way, we wild are... young crazy days. <laughs> Yeah, I find that too tiring now. I'm like, Fuck it. <laughs> uh, back at the hotel by 10 p.m. In, 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 in... <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I guess uh, if there's any other kind of deeper discussions or, or more things about how we create our content or, or things that affect our content and stuff, let us know down in the comment section because I think oh. we're all clearly very happy to discuss and chat about. Our sponsor is going to be... Um... Some sort of uh, charity for mental health, and that's where our sponsor is going to be for <laughs> for the Warcast. I think. <laughs> well, some sort we of... are considering any sponsors. Yeah, so any... even if you sell like hentai, we'd be interested. We've got a... <laughs> <laughs> Warrior has kids to feed. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Hentai. Ooh. Get those. Get those big body pillows. Yeah. Oh no! That, that uh, uh, what have you got a product? Uh, you know, um, the manscaping. Get get the manscaped company to sponsor us. Is that where there you shave? I, I could do. Yeah. I could do with a new trimmer. Yeah. Yep. Through the verge. No? All right. I bought, I, bought, I bought a new one the other day. Actually, the lawnmower oh, okay. three point oh. So there you go. 
I don't think is there anything else we've got on the agenda? Is there anything else we wanted to talk about? I think that was I think that was pretty much it, really. We added a lot in there. Whoa! What happened there? Your your autofocus was just just what had a fit. Oh, you piece of crap! This is what I mean. You see, I've got to go home full time. I've got to get better equipment to afford it. So it's a crap like that autofocus. Uh, Canon, Sony, we'd love a sponsorship with some cameras, please. Oh God, yeah, and 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 throwing in the Gato uh, cam link as well for me. Yeah, good to go. Hook us up. Good. Hook us up. <laughs> We're good to go. All right. Uh, well, um, yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this on youtube no. we're available <laughs> on spotify itunes yeah. and soundcloud yes we are does anyone yeah. use soundcloud anymore i we have to use soundcloud because that's how it gets everywhere else oh does it oh ha! yeah sa- sound soundcloud is what spits it over to itunes and spotify oh so it's like it's like a hosting hub but you can listen oh, natively cool. on soundcloud if you want to but i think most people oh, nice. like spotify itunes you know. Okay. Have yeah. a great morning right. poo while you listen to this. Um, mm. Please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. That's yeah. YouTube. Yeah. 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 I'll go yeah. Please. <laughs> please. Bye. Thanks for watching our second episode of the Warcast Returns with me, Alex the Rambler, uh, Lionheart, and Warrior of Sparta. Good day. Bye. Ciao for now.